Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand. So I'm here with the Excel VBA 2016 tutorial for beginners to advanced in 30 days, guaranteed. Now we're moving on to the uh, part 5. So in my previous video, part 4, I have discussed about uh, macro, how do you start a macro, record assigning and also running macro. Now here in this video, we will be discussing on macro security example. So the topics for today is our macro security, the complete uh, available options, available settings for you to uh, choose from micro security. And then all settings are explained in this one video. So also I'll give you one more example on micro recording and running. In the previous video, I had given an example. So this will be the second example for you to get through with. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe here and like my videos. And if you have any questions, please do comment on the comment sections. I would definitely reply to everybody without fail. Okay, let's get this started today. So once again, the, the topics are micro security. Now, there are two ways you can uh, reach out to micro security page. One, a simplest way, click on developer tab and then choose micro security from this ribbon. So this is your micro security pop-up. Uh, another method, you can go from files, options, trust center, trust center settings, and it is micro settings. So the first one is the easy one. Just jump on uh, developer tab and click on micro security. Now by default, your micro security uh, will be disabled. So your macros will not run unless you enable your micro settings. So that is the reason why I'm making this video. So if you have tried my previous example and then if it is not working, this could be one of those reasons. So you need to enable your micro. And uh, But the default option is disable all macro with notification. Now it's again up. Uh, we either leave it at disable all micro with notification. So somebody has to uh, click on enable macros when they launch that Excel. However, uh, if you choose the last option, enable all macros, which they say not recommended, potentially dangerous if you are using any downloaded code from somewhere outside on an internet. However, you may choose to go with if you would like for all the tutorial uh, all your exercises and your whatever you're practicing if you do not want to have this macros blocking you you just click on enable all macros which will default allow every macro to run you may also choose disable all macros without notification which means a permanent disable so uh, all macros will be stopped will not run and uh, disable all macros except digitally signed macro one can sign a macro digitally if somebody has signed it then that will be run that will be allowed otherwise the rest all will be disabled so for this tutorial purpose i will keep this as enable all macros so i don't have to again go back and click on uh, enable every time i launch a workbook let's say okay that's all about macro settings you must be knowing for this tutorial now moving on to uh, one more example which i just told you today's example will be uh, very interesting so i'll have multiple macros and filters and also removing macro in this example i'll be writing three macros to demonstrate this so look at this is the table which is very similar to what we discussed in the previous example in the last video so here i have say one two three four five columns and then five six five rows with one column head now there are names listed here age and phone number and income i'm taking an example of five rows you may have 500 rows or a thousand even a lakh rows you can certainly apply macro for entire uh, entire column you could see so excel gives you a huge range of uh, database so you can use the entire worksheet if you have your if you're dealing with a uh, large data now objective of our example is number one i would like to filter filter people with income more than twenty thousand and number two the second one i would like to filter people 
with age above 15 sorry 18 let, let's say 18 and I need another micro to clear all these filters follow my instructions carefully from here let us write the first macro developer record macro the objective of this macro is to filter people with more than 20,000 income so I'll name it as income for my benefit and say okay how do I highlight so how do I filter or highlight here so I'm going to set the condition formatting you could see the macro is recording so I need to perform the set of activity for us to highlight or for the macro to do our job so condition formatting you can find them under home conditional formatting highlight cells with rules first one and I'm choosing greater than here mention how much I need anything more than 20,000 you must highlight so anything more than 20,000 which means 20,001 and above okay let me say okay so the macro is ready I will stop the macro here that's a very simple macro all I have done the condition formatting for this section now once I have the macro ready I'll have to assign it to a, a shape so we'll go to insert illustration shapes by now we should be ready with all you should be knowing how do we insert a shape and how do we assign this macro so done with let me make it a little beautiful people with income more than 20k now sorry okay right click on it and click on assign macro click on income which is the macro we just recorded and say okay now let us run whether the macro working or not let's see if everything went well now there is nothing highlighted i'll click on people with income more than 20k and you see more than 20k highlighted if i change this person value to 21,000, if this will also get highlighted this is again real real time suppose if i change it to 19,000, that will not be highlighted again that is the first macro we have achieved now let's move on to the second macro people with age above 18 for this i will not use the condition formatting i'll use filter for this filter uh, watch me again doing this again let me start a new macro developer tab record macro and here i'll give name it as age so always try to name macro which is exactly what you are planning to do so it will be easy for you to go back and check which macro if you have multiple of those let's continue age what i'm going to do this is the section i'm going to filter add filter in home click on filter and here go to the age column filter number greater than 18 okay now the age filtered let me stop the recording remember macro always record all your activities all your action even including the last cell i selected okay now similar to the the previous one i'm going to set up uh, just another shape i've just copied this is uh, people with what is this people with age more than or above 18 right click on it click on assign macro and click on age that's it done so suppose if i remove all the filter and now try a people with age above 18 you could see two people listed with age above 18 along with this i also need that, that that's about uh, macro 2 now also we need to record macro 3 to remove both the filters okay or one with the filter other one with the condition formatting uh, let's write another macro a quick macro here to clear so i'm not um, let's say i'll give c for this for clear say okay now the macro started recording so how do i do this 
go to home page now I'm, I'm removing the filter because this is clear all so I'm clearing this macro this is recorded and then I have to also delete the conditional formatting click here manage rules in under conditional formatting manage rules and click on delete for both delete delete apply okay so all set I'm stopping this macro okay let me apply this macro assign this macro to another a small shape let me say with clear this is to clear all and we need to again assign the macro right click and click on assign macro click on clear okay so the macro is assigned let us test these macros now number one people with age more than sorry people with income more than 20k so macro working people with age above 18 here we go yes working and clear all is working so your data is set back to normal you may choose just to go with age above 18 you can see them there and then you may select you can do them in any uh, sequence clear all will clear it this is there a pretty simple and small example for you to get started with so go back home and then start working out these in your excel take the data more than 20 lines or 80 maybe 100 lines if you wish to and start working out um, get some other concept there are multiple options available under filter and under conditional formatting to scrutinize the data so use them play with your macro play with the recording if you get any error or any trouble doing this please do comment on this video so i can answer you guys that's it for today uh, please do subscribe my channel and happy learning have a great day all is well